everyone. Today we are, what are we doing today? Hauling bales. Hauling bales, that's right. We are uh, mom, mom. running We're a little bit late as per usual. So we got the Mommy. crew and away we go. Here we go. Are you excited? Yeah. My little helper today. Can you say hi? I want to show her my new shoes. Oh yes, she got new shoes yesterday. She's very excited about them. Don't mind the pajama pants. It's a look of her own. So, we are in the hall today. Let's get this thing started. It is about a three hour turnaround time one, both ways, there back, load up, go. I think it is 12 miles away, 12 or something like that. So, yeah, not the most exciting day. I mean, no, it sounds exciting. It's not exciting. It's gonna be long and I have no radio in this tractor. So that's exciting. Let's go. Why are you not going? <laughs> Just letting it warm up. You can see the boss man in the background. <laughs> There we go, so we're gonna take two hay trailers, um, two tractors, one loader tractor. So I'm basically just gonna follow him around on the field and pick up bales so he can load me up. Yeah, and they're gonna go to the The bales are not going to anti-stasis sales. No, they're coming back. <laughs> What is the consensus? We are definitely not green farmers, as you can tell. What's <laughs> the crap in this tractor? Oh man, I should have spent a day cleaning this thing out. Oh, it is so embarrassing, you guys. That's fine, at least should have done the window too. This is our bale shredding tractor, so dust, that's all I'm gonna say. That one. Hey, trailer number one. Pulled by the Coda. Ernie's trusty tractor. We'll have a story about that thing though one day. Oh, Here we go. Roads are actually a little bit busy today. Um, we left basically at school bus time, so that's fun. Not smart. That's fun. So normally I would. Can you explain to everyone why your hair looks so? in the front. Her and her cousins had a haircutting day. Yeah, mom was super happy about that one. So that's growing out. <laughs> uh, guys, this is a long drive and it is not exciting. But my little co-pilot here is sure making things entertaining. So where we're going, we bought first and second cut off of the field and it's kind of nice because it's right beside a rented pasture that we have. Um, some commercial cattle on. So, kind of kill two birds with one stone. I can, well, I'll see if I have time to go check on them because I'll be, well, I probably will because we'll load up my trailer first and then grab the do his. But yeah, I'll kind of do a little intro to the commercials. There's some purebreds mixed in there as well. And then drive back and then do it all over again. basically just use this one to shred bales in the winter time so it's hooked up to the processor all year round um yeah it kind of lends a really good life because if we park it in our heated shop so it's babied i mean it's not new so we baby it the Kubota also gets parked in heat because she's not new either i don't be farmers we don't have the newest stuff but we sure try to take care of what we have uh there's grandpa in the background if you can see so let's give you a little track Standard gauge cluster. I got my hazards on because you know, safe. 
I wish I had a buddy seat. That would be, that would make this safer. Actually, she shouldn't be in here, but that's fine. Okay, there's my gears. I got two splits. I got high and low. ETO, bail processor jazz, my levers for shredding the bales. Oh, my stop sign coming up. So that's fun. Sure, we actually would like to get him out today. So here's this group of girls. Curious one over there. Mommy, we have some stragglers. What? I know. So yeah, again, we run a tag system. We're white. His grandpa, along with us and his uncle, are green. And then his uncle earns a commercial side as well, which is blue and red. It'll just kind of... Mommy, I got two blue ones. I know. This is a really, really nice crop of calves. So our girls are <clears throat> Angus Sim Hereford Cross, not her. But our white face are Angus Sim Hereford Cross and we breed to our Angus bull right there. And let me tell you, we have not been disappointed at all. Look at these, they are producing it. You guys have grass. So we've been super happy. Super happy. Yeah, I checked their mineral tub. But their water source is good. Number seven, her mom is my favorite. I found my number seven. Here she is. Where? Where? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> so we got a whole bunch of... When we got these commercials, they were wild. Wild, wild. They're not wild anymore, thank goodness. So here we go, that trailer's half loaded. Getting instructions from the boss. He's lining up some bills already.
But it's windy. Do you hear that? I knew it was windy. I just didn't think it was that windy. Okay. Now this little one wants to ride some horse, so that's what we're going to go do. Done. And that feels nice. Okay. Last load for today is done. We're going to do another load tomorrow. So this is the load that I did. We're still out here doing the thing, you guys. So we decided to do a third load today as there is three days of rain in the forecast. So we very quickly decided that make hay while the sun shines basically. So bringing it home, my sidekick, she got tired so she's with grandma. So that was very nice that she did that. So yeah, we're still kicking. I, uh, a little bit unexpected. We went for a little ride in the meantime, but yeah, it's been fun. It's been a good day. So we are probably not in the norm where we do not um, cut Ray K bale, any of our own feed. We do own fields, which we get it done. We get it custom, custom work done. We just don't have the equipment for it right now. Um, used to, my husband's grandparents used to have a dairy farm and they used to have everything, but that was back. Back in the day, they retired and then got into beef. So, I mean, that's how it works in farming. <laughs> I think you think you're done and then you keep going. So now we're into the purebred beef game and we love it. We sell breeding bulls and heifers is what we're doing. So that's what we're getting food for. Oh, I just got to scooch up. We're getting the, we should get off your phone. So yeah, we are lucky enough that we were able to rent this pasture. We got hay off here. Bales off them. So again, we produce majority of our hay. We just don't have the equipment to make the hay. So <laughs> we do use custom people for that. And we just go around and pick it up. So, I mean, what's cost effective and what works that works for us. We're kind of not landlocked where we are, but land is very expensive where we are, so this works. This works pretty good for us. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's loading. It's been a really good day, though. I think we're still gonna have to do probably a load tomorrow, and then he is done, and then we have to work on the straw. And the straw is about the same distance away, so that'll be fun. We did it. That was my load. Good, 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 good. Hey, thumbs up. As always, thanks again for watching my channel. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We post our sale heifers and bulls there. So if you're interested in that, go take a peek over there. Okay, have a good one.